Iran launched a satellite into space Saturday with a rocket built by the country's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard, state-run media reported, the latest for a program the West fears helps Tehran advance its ballistic missile program. Iran described the launch as a success, which would be the second such launch to put a satellite into orbit with the rocket. There was no immediate independent confirmation of the launch success, nor did Iranian authorities immediately provide footage or other details. The launch comes amid heightened tensions gripping the wider Middle East over the ongoing Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip, during which Tehran launched an unprecedented direct missile and drone attack on Israel. Meanwhile, Iran continues to enrich uranium to nearly weapons-grade levels, raising concerns among non-proliferation experts about Tehran's program. Iran identified the satellite-carrying rocket as the KAIM-100, which the Guard used in January for another successful launch. KAIM means, upright, in Iran's Farsi language. The solid-fuel rocket put the Shamran-1 satellite, weighing 60 kilograms, into a 550-kilometer orbit, state media reported. The U.S. State Department and the American military did not immediately respond to requests for comment over the Iranian launch. The United States had previously said Iran's satellite launches defy a UN Security Council resolution and called on Tehran to undertake no activity involving ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. UN sanctions related to Iran's ballistic missile program expired last October. Under Iran's relatively moderate former President Hassan Rouhani, the Islamic Republic slowed its space program for fear of raising tensions with the West. Hardline President Ebrahim Raisi, a protege of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei who came to power in 2021, has pushed the program forward. Raisi died in a helicopter crash in May. It's unclear what Iran's new president, the reformist Masoud Pazeshkian, wants for the program as he was silent on the issue while campaigning. The U.S. intelligence community's worldwide threat assessment this year said Iran's development of satellite launch vehicles would shorten the timeline for Iran to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile because it uses similar technology. Intercontinental ballistic missiles can be used to deliver nuclear weapons. Iran is now producing uranium close to weapons-grade levels after the collapse of its nuclear deal with world powers. Tehran has enough enriched uranium for several nuclear weapons, if it chooses to produce them, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency repeatedly has warned. Iran has always denied seeking nuclear weapons and says its space program, like its nuclear activities, is for purely civilian purposes. California is only now heading into the teeth of the wildfire season but already has seen nearly three times as much acreage burn than during all of 2023. Matt Howe, 37, a resident of El Carrizo village saw a portion of his house scorched from one of the wildfires. Howe feels fortunate that he has a roof over his family tonight, he laments the damage the fire has done to his neighborhood. He said, I heard we lost 40 homes, and you know, it's tough being two of the homes survived are ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. In El Carrizo Village, a community of 250 along Highway 74 in Riverside County, an Associated Press photographer saw at least 10 homes and several cars engulfed in flames. More than 5,500 homes in Riverside County were under evacuation orders, affecting more than 19,000 residents. 
What are you looking for something to scoop with, huh? No, and just throw on, throw it down, because I think I actually worse some of my good gel, like, actually. I don't. Yeah. I'll get in there with my hand. You're done. Time too. Pull out. Yep, fortunate thing was, is I bought this chainsaw when I first moved up here, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got bigger and bigger. Yeah, and then the, now this would just be a toy. Life goes on. <laughs> right, you're a staple gun, Dad. Yeah. I remember a crossbow. <laughs> no, a guy would come in with an undersized tool like a little hammer. Good thing it's we just go. all stuff that can be replaced. Where the hell did you get that? From Fisher Price? Um, you know, for us, it's... It's tough, you know, we lost a lot of, um, you know, our holiday stuff, Christmas, you know, obviously decorations. We don't have anything for Christmas. We lost, you know, kids stuff, um, tools, um, but, you know, fortunate that's just a garage that we can rebuild and uh, tools we can we can replace. Um, yeah, I'm, it's devastating coming back to the neighborhood because I, I heard we lost 40 homes and, you know, it's... It's tough being two of the homes survived of ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. It's, that's that's the toughest part, honestly. Um, it, it hurts inside because I know there for a while we didn't think we had a home to come home to as well. And um, just over the moon that we have a place to sleep tonight. So, yeah. That good butter I got from Richard Egan, Dad. Which one? I didn't think. You know, it, it, the small community we have up here. Um, we hear about them, especially during fire season. They're every, it almost seems every other week or at least once a month. And you almost get callous to them, you know, like the, probably the fire department gets callous to them, you know. But um, this one just came so fast. I don't think, I don't think anybody was prepared to move um, as fast as it had come, um, which, you know, unfortunately led a lot of people to leave their belongings behind um, and get out with what they could. Um, like for us, it was tough. We left our pigs behind and our chickens and turkeys and we're just glad that they made it. You know, we're, we're really, we're really fortunate. She was, a, she was an artist and ceramic. She would make all kinds of, you know, beautiful ceramic stuff. You know what she was really famous for, what everyone wanted, was the tortilla warmer. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was ceramic. It was about this high with the lid on it. And, oh, man, it yep. keeps the tortillas hot forever. Yeah.